Alright. YouTube.com slash Prince Bow Wow. Oh boy. Woo! Real talk, what up? World Star, what up? Pete. So my last blog, I said that I was done with it. You know what I'm saying? I said I wasn't gonna go back and forth with the little homie. But um I look up and I see, you know, shout out to the to the homie Ski. You know what I'm saying? Now he done called up Ski to give him a little interview. So in the interview, he talking reckless. He say he gonna end my career. But see, dog, this is the difference between you and I. You can't end my career, my nigga. You can't. I work hard. I work over hard. I've been working since you was even thought of. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Since five. I'm, I'm about to turn 22. I've been working non-stop. Non-stop. Consistent hit records. Consistent arena tours. Consistent everything. Consistent serving the youth and serving my fans and your fans with heat. Don't forget, the only reason why you in the game is because of me. Ever since crisscross, there hasn't been another young cat to come along and fill that void. I made that opportunity and I made that possible all over again. So if that never would have happened, you wouldn't even be here, nigga. And I told myself, I'm going to tone it down. I swear to God, I'm going to tone it down. I'm going to tone it down. But you said you was going to end my career. <laughs> Soldier Boy, you are finished. You are done. You are done. I try to let it slide. I said, that's the little homie. It is what it is. But see, this is where he don't understand. See, what Soldier Boy, see, what the people don't understand is you initiated this. You feel me? You got to check your background and size up your competition. I don't even consider you competition. But if you want to pick somebody for a match, you got to make sure it's, it, it, it's, a, it, it's equivalent on sheet to your sheet. And my stats don't match up with Soldier Boy's stats. I'm way out of your league, man. And I, and I feel bad because it ain't nobody around you to coach you, to talk to you. See, me, I had a big homie like JD who, who spoke to me when I got out of line. See, I knew when I was getting out of line because I had homies around me that would always tell me, yo, bow, chill, chill, chill. Like, when you made that Nas comment, you pissed a lot of people off with that comment. And being that you don't get love in the hip-hop community in the music business, you would think that that's one person that you wouldn't talk about. Because that man is, highly, is very highly respected. And he's a big homie of mine who I talk to. And not only is a big homie of mine, but he's a big homie to every other hip-hop fan. So by you saying that Nas killed hip-hop, you lost a lot of points from a lot of cats who was really digging you and was respecting you. And the only way you do get respect in the game is because people respect you because they're like, okay, he's a young dude and he made it and he's doing it and he's getting paper. But when it comes to lyrical content, DeAndre Ramon Wade, you not seeing the dog. And the people know that. You too busy trying to be Gucci man. You too busy trying to be OJ the Juice man. That's not you. That's not you. Just be you. When them dudes ran in your house, who was the first dude that called you? Me. What did I tell you? I said, soldier, all you got to do is stop talking that BS that you talking in your freestyles. People hear and people listen. Not one time do I talk about busting guns off. Do one, not one time do I talk about selling a brick because I don't do that. But when you put your business out there and you expose yourself out there and you do your rich nigga shit and you stunting extra hard and you wiping your nose with $100 bills, you asking niggas to be on you. You asking niggas to... To 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 want to do something to you just to prove a point. See me, I always play my lane. That's why I get respect because I never try to go outside of my lane. Now what you just did by trying to quote unquote say you gonna end my career? See now you stepping out of your lane once again. So I might have to smack that ass. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, it's messed up because he don't got homies around him to talk to him and teach him and tell him. So, it, 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 it's kind of like your fault because you 18 years old. I consider you a grown man, so, I, so, I, so I'm hoping you can handle yours like a grown man. Because I'm going to handle mine. You feel me? So, on that note, 
you're done. Don't call me. Don't, I don't want, I'm like T.I. What are you saying, A.T.? I don't want to kick it with y'all. I don't want to skate with y'all. I don't want to do nothing. Because now it's on. I got a record I'm about to drop today that I already pre-recorded because I knew you was going to come up, fumble up on some bullshit. And when this record drop, it's tombstone for you, little homie. We all going to lay roses on your coffin because your career is R.I.P. You're done. You're over. Every battle that Soldier Boy has ever been in, he hasn't started it. See, this nigga, this the first battle that he started and that he knows he can't finish. But the fans, the fans, they know that the dog gonna finish. They know that by you trying to go at me, you giving me the fuel that I need to go harder. Telling you, boy, we on your ass, that nah, boy. Hey, what he saying, Menace? What he saying, Menace Society? What he saying, Menace Society? How is tell him? Tell us something, boy, what they say. What they say, Menace of Society? Yo, you know you fucked up, right? You know you fucked up, right? You done fucked up now, boy. You, f you done fucked up now, boy. Soldier Boy is over. You're done. You're finished. Over. <laughs>